hi guys um so we are live and uh, uh so today we have with us uh, karl irani and uh, after graduating with a masters degree in law from kings college london karl realized that his passion uh, lies in building businesses that ignited with a thirst for entrepreneurship he returned to india and single handedly set up what we call the palm spa uh, one of the mumbai's finest wellness establishments this experience gave him valuable insight into the city's luxury market and an understanding of how most effectively uh, they can deliver world class comfort design and hospitality to an audience that knows exactly what they want following the successful launches of his spa uh, karl turned uh, his attention to alibag and its immense potential he took what was then a small operation to newer heights uh, turning what we know today as palmore with a core team of highly qualified architects and interior designers palmore has been able to deliver consistent results across all the villa development projects uh, that is undertake palmore developers is considered the most experienced holiday home uh, developer in alibag as specialist developers in that region they are committed to building exceptional turnkey fully furnished villas which are designed and executed with with unmatched expertise transparency and local experience so there's a lot that karl has been doing and the best part is he's based out of alibag so uh, welcome karl uh, thank you so much atika it's wonderful uh, to you know have this conversation about second homes today uh mm -hmm. given the current times mm -hmm. and uh, but i would like you to start your journey like you know how did you foray into second home sure so it was actually in 2001 we built our first home in alibag and that was supposed to be our personal home um we had people come over and long story short someone really liked it a year later we sold it to them okay and that very in a very serendipitous way that kind of lent into this business it just it just happened ever since then we've been building about a home a year a home every two years it was done a very low key it was done under no brand but over a period of 15 years people started to know who we were they started to understand exactly what we were and built up a lot of goodwill so right about 3 years ago i decided that look normally a lot of brands kind of start their brand and then aim to build this goodwill we had this goodwill over a period of 15 years and now pamo is just the conduit to kind of package that and deliver that to bombay saying that this is the alibag offering and this is what we do now we cover the entire gamut of alibag home offerings so whether it's you know a ready build or a bespoke house that's what we do and then there's so much else perhaps we can get into that later but at this stage yeah. this is what pamo does Absolutely. Taking from that, uh, you know the the whole topic about second homes. Uh, what was the response pre-COVID and you know now post-COVID? Obviously, things have changed. So, you know, what was your take on it pre-COVID and now? You obviously see a mappable difference. So, pre-COVID, we had a lot of people who were talking about Alibag. A lot of people are like, "Look, we're considering getting a house in Alibag," and the yeah. time frame was infinite. there was never a fixed time for them saying that i want to do it at this time you know it was always in the next 6 months or i get back to you in a year so that list is very long of those people what we're finding now is those same people have realized that covid may not be here to stay but unfortunately they in the next 5 years and the next 4 years there could very easily be another one of these you know these, these these pandemics yes for sure so yeah. people are now realizing they need that home they need that respite that escape so this has kind of pushed everyone over the edge everyone's like okay we've waited long enough and yeah. now let's kind of make that move so i have a lot of people who i was in talks with over the last year and two years now coming to us and saying look we've made up our mind let's do it so the homes yeah. that we had ready we've sold already the ones that wow. we have getting done in the next 4 months we're taking pre bookings right now for and we're just bringing on bespoke bills because everyone is kind of there and everyone is like okay I want to be there in some capacity whether it's a small home or a large home but they're realizing that you know having that organic garden having your space having your caretaker on site knowing where yeah. your staff is all these things are other new luxury literally 
you know these are the things it's it's the comfort that you get from it uh, but you know as an aspirational uh, person who wants to own a second own a second home we have a lot of uh, people who are young and you know uh, i feel that if we start early like not wait till we are 45 and you know collect that chunk of money what is uh, do you have any special uh advice to them on you know like moving to alibag or taking that yeah of course of know. course so i would say at this stage if it really depends entirely on your budget right yeah. so if yeah. you're not in the market to buy a big ticket ready villa you know the next best best option perhaps is to put down money and buy some land you know i right. i truly believe that um you know 40 years ago people in south bombay must have thought juhu was yeah. far away and people must have moved to juhu and said look this has palm trees it has a beach it's beautiful there are a lot of artists here let's live here and juhu yeah. kind of grew out of that you know it was just the connectivity that made juhu then an extension of bombay and the land value that you're seeing consequently is because of that extension and connection today i believe alibag is the tip of that iceberg we are the next extension a luxury extension so i know right. people say a lot of things like you know it's like the hamptons of bombay and this and that and while all those analogies are great but it really could just be alibag and we could create it and make it what we want to make it you know yeah. we doesn't have yeah. to be something else and so to get back to your to your question i think people can invest in land you know if you right. have a low budget right now and you're in your 30s early 30s you want to build something in the next 5 10 years now is the time to buy land you know and and right. there's not infinite land the good land is definitely finite so you want right. to go there you want to you want to go around spend a couple of weekends find out what is a good plot of land for me and buy that and sit on that you know check your okay. soil conditions get all the tests done make sure it has water fence it you know so yeah. many things go into it you know as you have the money to kind of put into it and then later on when you're ready you come to us and mm-hmm. we build you a home yes wow so yeah, yeah i'm i mean i mean you know that like this conversation is breaking a lot of myths about alibag uh, but yes. what, overall you know if i were to tie up all the things that we discussed uh, what is the future what do you think is the future and what are the next steps for you as a developer so the future of alibag according to me was like i said we're very much at the tip of the iceberg with yeah. 250 villas in there is a lot more land and there is a lot more that people can dream you know what i mean people can dream up those experiences what do they want so once people come to developers and architects with look this is what i've thought of that's what's going to be executed there next okay we will go further down south there will be greater connectivity it was ferry boats first then it became speed boats speed boats became a luxury that commute became 30 minutes the next step will be a chopper there already are chopper services yeah, so already, automatically yeah. automatically what happens is a place that was far away now with the chopper service being commercial and accessible automatically a chopper service makes your house 25 minutes away so if yeah. you want a 10 acre property on a mountain with large terraced swimming pools overlooking an ocean and and your chopper landing there it's all possible now so that the future of alibag literally is restricted by a what someone can afford to spend and how how hard they can dream and what can they imagine their place to be you know so we really think there are pockets of it for example that there are buildings coming up on okay there are pockets on on it where they say there's going to be a township now this is india and all this is going to happen but as a developer we kind of look at these plans and stay away from these areas so yeah. we know where there's forest land where there's trust land where nothing can be built so we build around these areas we buy land in these areas so 5 20 and 25 years down the line when kids kind of had their most memorable experiences in these houses we don't want them to say at 35 and 40 oh i don't want to go there because it's got buildings around it you yeah. know i want that home to go to the next generation and say well yes we'll have our growing up experiences there as well and that's what we're ensuring when we're kind of building today Hi, uh, thank you so much for doing this with us. Uh, it you. has been great. Uh, it has been a very, very different uh, perspective uh, to second homes uh, because mm. you know now that is the trending topic uh, for whatever reasons. Uh, and we really wanted to uh, 
have an insight into how uh, it was it used to be a luxury and it's become a need uh, now uh, thank you so much this this session is uh, a part of a recorded talk series called beyond borders and carl literally represents going beyond the borders of bombay uh, to another uh, place called alibag which is a paradise thank you carl it was lovely talking thanks thank you tika bye